there, my name is Kate Dagnell. I'm the Education and Interpretation Coordinator here at the National New York Museum. Since 2004, July 10th has been the National Art Day in Finland. July 10th was chosen to celebrate the birthday of Finnish artist Helene Scherfbeck. Right now at the National Nordic Museum, we have on display Among Forests and Lakes, landscape masterpieces from the Finnish National Gallery. So what better way to celebrate Finnish National Arts Day than by doing a landscape project ourselves? We're also gonna be doing a little landscape project inspired by pop art, which is an art movement from the 1950s. So this is what we're gonna be working on today. Here's what you're gonna need for this project. You will need a piece of paper to draw on. I have a piece of multimedia paper, but you can use printer paper, you can use cardstock, you can use craft paper, anything you have available will work just fine. You're also gonna want a pencil, you'll want a black marker, and then you'll also want something to color with. So I'm gonna be using colored pencils today, but you can use markers, crayons, you can even use watercolor or other paints if you want to, it's totally up to you. So the first thing you're gonna do is draw a gentle wavy horizon line. I'll draw it and then I'll show you what I've drawn. It doesn't have to look very perfect, just a wavy line like this. Next, we're gonna draw a gentle wavy foreground line. So you can see in this one, there are two of these wavy lines, the horizon line and the foreground line. And there you have it. Then you're gonna draw some details. So for this one, I drew some trees and some flowers. I think I'm gonna stick with that same thing to really make it look like a landscape a couple of trees in here. They don't have to look really realistic. I'm drawing kind of cartoonish looking trees and I think that's really fun for pop art. Here are a couple of trees there and then I'll just add some flowers down at the bottom. Okay, there are my flowers down at the bottom. Now we're gonna move on to whatever we're coloring with today. Like I said, I'm using colored pencils. I'm gonna add some patterns to this. So you can see with this finished one, I went with nothing that looks realistic. I did a lot of polka dots and stripes. It doesn't really look like what nature looks like outside when you look outside. So that's what I'm gonna try and do today. A bunch of different colors, and whatever pattern I want. I really encourage you to get really experimental with this. See whatever you want to come up with. In case you haven't heard of the pop art movement, it kind of is supposed to look like comic book art. It's popular in the 1950s and the 1960s. I definitely recommend looking it up to get a little bit of inspiration for today's project. <laughs> so now that I've drawn all of these patterns, looks like this. The final step for this is to trace all of where you put that pencil with this black marker. And that's gonna make all of the things in your drawing really pop like that. So that's what we're gonna do next. If you're using Sharpie, you may want to put your drawing on a different piece of paper so that you don't put any marks on the table that you're drawing on. That's just a fun tip. And once you have it outlined with that black marker, all of those details in your drawing are really gonna pop out because again, this is a pop art inspired landscape. And there you have it. You have your own pop art inspired landscape drawing. And I hope you get to come to the National Nordic Museum to see Among Forests and Lakes, landscape masterpieces from the National Finnish Gallery. Thank you. See you next time.